Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting because we are going to start direct and inverse proportions topic. Direct and inverse proportion topic usually students find difficulty in understanding the concept. That is why we have started this topic. First of all, in this topic always two quantities will be involved. Please listen very carefully. Always two quantities will be involved. I am considering let's suppose two quantities are x and y. And initially, first of all everybody must be clear that what is proportionality. As I told, two quantities are there or two variables are there. If changing the value of one is impacting the value of other, that means they are proportional. I am repeating, if I am changing value of x and y is also changed according to that, that means they are proportional, they are related to each other. But there are two types, depending upon change whether they are direct proportional or inverse proportional that is different. So what happens if I talk about direct proportion? If I talk about direct proportion, listen very carefully. If x is increasing and y is also increasing, that means if increase in one is also increase in other, it is the case of direct proportion. At the same time, if x is decreasing and y is also decreasing, that means both are decreasing together, both quantities, still it is direct proportion. Now the question arises, what these quantities are? So today I am going to give best and basic examples using which you will be able to understand it easily. For example, you have gone for shopping. There are two quantities involved. Let's suppose you are purchasing pen. For example, you are purchasing pen and there is obviously cost involved for the pen cost in I am taking rupees or dollars whatever. So if you are purchasing one pen let's suppose and you are paying 10 rupees that means cost of one pen is 10 rupees. Now if you want to purchase more number of pens instead of one you want to purchase five number of pens fine you will have to pay more for that that means you will be paying 50 rupees. So what is happening? Two quantities are there here. Now I hope you are clear with what kind of quantities I am talking about. It's number of pens and cost. Number of pens are increased. Cost is increased. Number of pens are decreased. Cost will be decreased. That means more you purchase, more you will pay. Less you will purchase, less you will pay. So this is the case of direct proportion. I hope. This example is clear. There can be multiple examples of this type. You are purchasing sugar. Purchasing sugar, 5 kilogram sugar is costing you, let's suppose, 100 rupees. If you will purchase 10 kilogram, you will have to pay 200. So, same concept is there. That is the case of direct proportion. You are purchasing a land. More land you will purchase, more money you will have to pay less land you will purchase, less money you will have to. So this is the basic example for the direct proportion. There can be multiple examples, not only with the purchasing, with maybe some other things also. You can also think of any example and can write in the comment box if it is coming in your mind. Okay, so I am, this was the one of the example I have given. This is the case of direct proportion. If one is increasing, other is also increasing. But if I talk about inverse proportion, reverse happens. If let's suppose x is increasing, that means y is going to be decreased. And if x is decreasing, then y will increase. What can be the example for this? Let us discuss one example. Normally, since this topic is related to students. 
students can easily relate to their school periods let's suppose total number of hours of the school is 6 hours right usually it is fixed and let's suppose 40 minutes periods are there i'm not comparing with 6 let's suppose 40 minutes periods are there one period duration is each period duration is 40 minutes total number of periods in a day are 8 periods in a day so 8 times 4 is 320 minutes right but in 6 are 360 minutes are there remaining 40 minutes are for the breaks fine so this is the rule in the school now what happens school principal wants to give 9 periods in the school but total duration cannot be increased so what will happen if total number of periods instead of 8 i want to make 9 then what will happen duration of each period will be reduced this is inverse proportion case why it is inverse proportion there are two quantities if number of periods are increased class duration will be decreased i hope this is clear and at the same time if at instead of 8 you want 5 periods in a day then you have enough time class duration for each period will be increased then so if one quantity is decreasing other is increasing if one is increasing other is decreasing it is the case of inverse proportion and the best thing is usually students face problem in the selection of it solution is a different part where you just need to apply the formula and do the calculation but initially you need to decide whether it is the case of direct or inverse that is why i am giving the examples there can be more examples of inverse i hope you have given in the comment box some examples of direct let me give one more example of inverse let's suppose in a room we are going to you know get paint work done if one person is doing the paint work it takes five days for him if one person is doing the paint work let's suppose it takes five days for him to complete the work but if two persons are doing the same work that means i have increased the number of persons then time will be reduced obviously two persons will complete the work earlier so number of days will be decreased same example can be used anywhere but students should be able to understand that yes this is the case of inverse proportion there can be multiple more examples also let us suppose at my home we are four persons at home and we have kept e tables for 20 days which last for 20 days suddenly guests come to our home come our home that means instead of four let's for four more persons added so total eight persons are now there at home now food will not last for 20 days obviously in 10 days it is going to end because number of persons are doubled so what is happening number of persons are increased time duration for the food to last will be increased if number of persons are increased time duration will be decreased so if one quantity is increasing second will decrease then it is inverse if both are increasing together that means it is direct proportion cases uh, let me give one last example for direct because in the starting i told you to identify one i am giving one more example for direct let us suppose you are going with a uniform velocity uniform speed let's suppose 40 km per hour is the speed if more time you will travel right let's suppose i am going by my car if i drive drove for let's suppose two minutes some distance i will cover but if i am driving it for five minutes more distance i will cover more time i will spend on driving more distance i will cover so that becomes a case of direct proportion so i request all of you to at least write one another example different example of direct and one different example of inverse and write in the comment box and if we get a good response on this video you people enjoyed the video gave the examples it shows that you are interested in the topic then we will definitely continue this topic in our upcoming lectures. Thank you so much for watching today's video.